Y'all, I look like I'm about to sneak up in somebody's house and start stealing their stuff. I'm giving cat burglar, <laughs> cat burglar vibes right now. But hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad to have you. My name is Kat and I am a flight attendant with a major US airline. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you probably have no idea, but I actually lost all of the video footage that you are about to watch. I lost it all. All the files got corrupted on my SD card and I was panicking. I was panicking because I've only been to Incheon, South Korea one other time and that was during COVID, which I did not realize until it was pretty late that I was not gonna be allowed to leave the hotel. So I feel like when I filmed this video, I really didn't get to have like the full in Sean, South Korean experience that I wanted to have. And I finally got to have it in this video. But then when I came to editing a few days ago, I plugged in my SD card as normal and all of a sudden, none of my video files were there. I still to this point do not know what happened, but basically I had to do a lot of research and it took me a few hours, but I ended up finding something called disk drill that was able to recover my video files. <laughs> also forgot to mention, it cost me $108, 108 bucks just for software to get my video clips back. This video has taken a lot of work and a lot of stress and a lot of like just, just a, a lot. <laughs> it's taken a lot out of me to put together. So I would very, very much appreciate that when you get to the end of it, if you did enjoy this video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a big old thumbs up and pressing that subscribe button because I worked very, very hard to recover and to edit and to bring you this video that I'm like super proud of. But also before we jump into today's video, there's one more very, very, very important message that I wanna share on my channel. And that's the fact that, you know, as much as I love bringing you guys on my trips, I love sharing my experience as a flight attendant and my journey and how cool and amazing and fun and sometimes crazy and chaotic this job can be and just my my experience and my journey through all of it that doesn't necessarily mean that it's always a universal experience and i think that sometimes there's a deeper side to being a flight attendant that i don't always discuss or that anybody really discusses and i think it's kind of important to share that with you guys i mean we definitely saw after COVID happened that there was a significant rise in physical as well as verbal assaults to flight attendants and you know as a flight attendant you spend a ton of time alone you're away from your family and your friends and your support system especially on like major occasions like holidays and weekends and things and you know it can be a very very lonely experience and another thing that you know it's it's very hard to discuss but it is a true problem in our industry is that there is a significant issue with substance abuse problems as well as mental health and you know unfortunately it doesn't always end up in the best situations which is why i'm so thankful for today's sponsor for really bringing awareness and bringing aid to that and that is better help BetterHelp connects you to a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and provide helpful and unbiased advice. First, you'll go to their site and you can use my link, betterhelp.com slash catnesbit. You'll answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you to a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like mine and just like yours. You can do it all from your phone or computer via phone call, video chat, or messaging. However you feel most comfortable, it is the easiest way possible to get you talking to a therapist. Therapist. And you'll be matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started fast. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. You can go to betterhelp.com slash catnesbit or choose catnesbit during sign up and you'll enjoy a special discount on your first month. Once again, thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get ready to go to Incheon, South Korea. Okay, the sun is brutal. I'm like trying to kind of, I don't know if my, my visor will. Okay, well, it's not great, but good morning, you guys. I have not had an early wake up in a minute. Outside of like already on a trip, I haven't done it in a while and it sucks. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys noticed anything different, but I straightened my hair because one of you guys commented and you're like, I miss straight hair cat. So I brought her back. I obviously have to pin it back for service and stuff. You can't serve food like this. But also I need to look up like exactly what I'm doing. I'm position seven, I believe, and 
and I think we're going to be on the Boeing 787-900. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I work business class. I could be mistaken though. I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get inside. So we're going to go ahead, head to the airport, um, get signed in, get their security, all that good stuff. When up is down and down is up. We have officially made it after a long 14 hour flight. Welcome to Incheon, South Korea. Ignore my stuff over here, but here is our entranceway and straight on the left, there is a huge bathroom. So it has like the little door to the toilet and then the shower over here. And then you come around and we have a big old bed. There's a chair, a desk, the TV, a place to set your luggage at. And then let's see, do we have a view? Ooh, we do have a view. It's been a while since we've had a view somewhere. You guys, look at this. It's a little bit foggy, but wow. I cannot believe it, but we are in Incheon, South Korea. What is life? What is life? <laughs> it's moments like these that I'm like, my job is actually insane but um, I do need to hurry up and get ready because we have plans, you and I. So um, some of the crew were nice enough to invite me to tag along with them. So we're supposed to be going to a hangover soup place, but something to note is you guys know I've been doing gluten-free. Well, I was already forewarned, which I kind of half expected that doing gluten-free here is very challenging. And I kind of half expected that because soy sauce and a lot of like Asian sauces tend to have gluten in them. So it's the sauces you have to be careful of. I'm going to go ahead and just have gluten. It's been a minute since I've had gluten. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying I don't have a flare up. Cross our fingers and hope for the best, but we are meeting downstairs in like 25 minutes. But I also forgot to tell you guys that right now it's 5.07 p.m. But our sign-in time tomorrow isn't gonna be until later. So I think it's around like 4.35. So we'll have time to go out for a little bit today, go to sleep, and then go out for a little bit tomorrow before we actually have pickup. I was not able to sleep on crew, on crew break. I was like really hopeful because I think breaks on this were like three and a half hours, but I just could not sleep. I think I'm just gonna layer like foundation and concealer on top of this and put some powder on it. She's gonna be looking real cakey. The sponge is still wet. That's so gross. As somebody who flies and travels a lot, you need to be replacing these a lot. I do have a little aerated, aerated thing on it. I'm gonna wet this up a little bit more and use some soap and water and clean it up as best as I can. The nice thing about um, Korea though, is that there aren't any liquid rules for us going. So we can do some shopping, get some skincare, do all that stuff with you guys. I asked on Instagram, have already recommended me some places to go. So um, we'll definitely be checking out some of those spots. All right, and then last but not least, I'm gonna redo my lips, my lips are dry. These planes are so dry, you guys, but I'm gonna redo my lips. I'm using my lip liner in the shade Duchess and then my shade Kitten, which this is completely sold out, but also I removed all of my, my matte liquid lipsticks. You guys let me know if y'all like them and want me to bring them back. But I feel like if I do bring them back, I'm gonna completely redesign the packaging. I feel like I want more like, of a grown up kind of more sophisticated packaging now. I just like for, for my brand to kind of grow as I do. All right, I kind of feel like this is just as good as it's gonna get. Put some setting spray and some moisture back into my face. Okay, I think we gotta put our shoes on, put our jacket on and head to the lobby and finally get out of here. What time is it? Yep, I should be down in the lobby right now. So let's go. So 
I feel so ridiculously lame because it's only eight o'clock. Like I think it's like seven, 7.58 right now, not even at eight o'clock. And I had to tap out. We didn't even make it to dinner also. I just want to point that out. We ended up going to a spot that was supposed to be kind of like, just like our pre-spot. We did end up ordering food though. We got like these honey garlic wings with fries and then also a fish stew and all of the above phenomenal. And for like a, a light bites, like pregame, I'm actually like super full, but this does present opportunities. Tomorrow we can get up early and actually like go do stuff. I definitely forgot to cleanse my face. Whoops. I'm sure my skin already, already hates my guts, but I won't even lie to you guys. I'm kind of excited because that bed has my name all over it and it looks mighty comfy. And I forgot to show you, but it also has like a little smart TV so you can like control all the lights and stuff from, from the bed. This view is also gorgeous at night too. Since the sun is rising and it's pretty bright, I'm gonna turn you guys facing um, this way instead of the other way. So right now it's about to be 7.30, so it's like 7.25 in the morning. I've been awake since I think like 1 a.m., 1.30, 1.30ish. I've been awake for a very long time. This chair, <laughs> this chair, oh, she goes back. That could have easily. <laughs> I could have easily tipped this thing over. But good morning. I slept good, but I never was able to actually get back to sleep. And then also in our rental property, <laughs> we have just been having like just thing after thing after thing is breaking in that house, which is so crazy because everything is like new on the house. The tenant messaged and said that there's issues. I think it was with the water heater, which we just replaced the water heater. We, in this last year, we have replaced the entire AC unit, or maybe we did that a little bit before then, because I think we were still in the house when we did the AC unit. We did replace the AC box since the tenant's been in there. We have replaced um, part of the fence. It was actually the neighbor's fence, but I don't even want to get into all that. The water heater, the roof, when all like the storms came through Texas, which the roof was less than five years old. Like at the end of the day, like it's important to take care of your tenant. Like you are responsible for the house that your tenant is living in. So like, I never want to let those things carry on. So it's, it's been a morning. <laughs> it's been a morning, but I did sleep good. I did sleep good. Not a lot, but I slept good. I'm not going to do a full beat of makeup for kind of two reasons. The first one being is that pickup today is going to be at 435 in the afternoon. So that kind of leaves time for a potential nap. But the second reason is because I don't know if you guys are familiar with Korean skincare, but it's supposed to be phenomenal. So um, y'all have told me to go to a place called, I believe it's called Olive Young, but let me, let me double check that. Also, something to note if you're gonna come to South Korea is that Google Maps does not, not really work here. And that's like my tried and true when I'm traveling. Like I always have Google Maps. It helps me get around everywhere, especially when I'm doing like a little solo explore day, like how we're gonna do today. But it doesn't, it doesn't really work here. So you have to use this app called Naver. It has like an icon like that. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's N-A-V-E-R. I don't wanna show you guys. <laughs> I don't wanna show you guys exactly where I'm at. Let me just take you over like somewhere yonder because I don't wanna like spill the hotel beans, but you can kind of see like it's in like English and then in Korean underneath. Sometimes when you type things into the search bar though, like if I was typing in 7-Eleven, sometimes like I would have an issue, like let me see if I can do it right now. I would have an issue about it completely translating to just just Korean and you don't see any English in in the name and stuff. The other thing that's unfortunate is that it doesn't really say, at least that not that I can read in English, is that it doesn't say when places open and close. Now for that, I still was able to use Google Maps. It's just that Google Maps, you can pull up locations, but you can't actually use it like if I'm walking somewhere. It won't track my walking distance with me, if that makes sense. So definitely download this app if you're going to be here. But I did notice that most stuff does not open until 10 a.m., which is also another reason why I kind of just like laid in that bed for a bit. I kind of noticed that things here open later, but stay open longer. Like even the skincare place when I was like looking last night, they were open until 11 p.m. last night, which I'm like, oh, that's kind of crazy, especially 
yesterday was Sunday. A lot of the speakers told me that here in Korea, like stuff generally stays open Sunday. It just, in general, stuff opens later. And I definitely noticed when I was like looking around. It got super cold last night. Like my teeth were chattering. It was so cold. So I'm not taking chances. I, I just have a small top though. So if that doesn't work, we'll come back and get like a warmer top later. But I, I did bundle up on the socks, the pants, the hat, the scarf, the jacket, everything else. And I also popped some lashes on just to look a little bit alive. But I guess let's go ahead and go walk over to the park and then just see what we stumble into. You guys, it is brisk. I don't know. You can definitely see uh, your own breath. It's it's cold. It hits your face pretty pretty darn good. I stupidly did not bring my tripod, but I found a cute little spot. It's like by the water, and I don't know if you can like see all these different kinds of boats, but I'm pretty sure those are water taxis. At least that's kind of what I saw in the sign. So I'll probably like when it's a little bit warmer, they probably go, or maybe even later today. Maybe they're just not open yet. I'm not sure. But I did stop at the convenience store, and I grabbed a couple goodies. One of them, I have no idea what it is. Um, but the first thing I got was a lower sugar espresso latte. I didn't really look too much. The guy in there was like kind of busy and I tried to stay out of his way, which is why I didn't like kind of really film inside, but we'll probably go somewhere else as well. But I didn't see like the ice chest with like the ice and the bagged coffee. But again, I didn't look like very clearly, but I also picked up our egg sandwich. So this is what we're gonna have for breakfast, which I'm excited. And then this is what I don't know exactly what it is. The guy said it was banana and I asked him, is it like a yogurt kind of milk drink? Because I've definitely had them before when I've gone to H Mart where it's like a milk mixed with soda. And I know that sounds like a little bit odd, but it's so good. But I don't think this is that because I don't see carbonation. Maybe this is just banana light milk. I don't know if I was supposed to shake it, but it's kind of too late, too late now. Oh. Oh, that's good. It kind of tastes like a banana Laffy Taffy. That's kind of like the flavor, I would say. I think it's just milk though, but you guys know I gotta have my coffee, so let's get into this one now. So this one has like a, a bindi straw. It's hard to do it one-handed. Oh, the straw is like kind of cool. Oh, that is good. That is one thing I remember is the Korean coffee is so good, but I don't know. Do you guys see the end of the straw? It's like, it kind of goes in like a little bubble thing. Do y'all see it? It's really unique to drink out of. I like that. It's like better than like a normal straw. Now time for the egg sandwich. Let me set you down again so I can open this. Okay, it says open. That's one thing I've noticed is a lot of things do have like some English on them. Not a lot, but it does have has some. Oh, you guys, look how good that looks. I've actually been on an egg salad kick lately. I've been eating um, egg salad and crackers at home with like some gluten-free crackers. All right, just going straight in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's been a minute since I've also had bread with gluten. <laughs> what a morning, you guys. I am one happy girl right now. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're just gonna have to be outfit repeaters. Uh, every time I <laughs> every time I say it, I think of like that that Lizzie McGuire uh, little voice thing where she's like, "Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater," and then she's like, "Well, you are an outfit remember." <laughs> <laughs> oh, so stupid. Oh, this is so good. Breakfast, 10 out of 10. My hands are already thawing, so I don't think you can see it so bad, but it is piercing cold. Like my hands were freezing and then I had to come here and immediately blow my nose. I started like snotting. <laughs> I started like snotting on myself. I'm not for the cold and the cold's not for me. It's about to be 9 a.m. So stuff isn't gonna open for another hour. 
hour. But what I'm thinking I want to do is I think I want to come prepared a little bit because I have heard amazing things about Korean skincare, but I'm not sure if there's any specific brands or products I should be looking for. Also, I don't know if you guys remember Tiffany, but whenever we did Paris and it was me, Matt and Tiffany that were all on that trip, I was texting back and forth with her and she had asked me to pick her up some stuff too. And she said, just whatever you hear is good, just grab it. So I'm gonna get her some stuff too. And then I talked to Chip and I might look for a moisturizer for him. Oh, I'm getting to the end of my coffee. Oh, so good. I guess for now, I'm gonna like watch some YouTube videos and figure out like what all I should be keeping an eye out for and maybe even look into some food things. This was the video that I found on YouTube that was the most helpful for me. So the products that I'm going to share with you guys in a little bit that I got from Olive Young, this was definitely the inspiration for. So I'll link this video down below in the description box if anybody else wants to check it out. Also, do you see this? The static is outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> Here we invite only positivity to this party Don't want no drama with any bad karma Got a lot of that in love, beat low I just want to let it all go Yeah, I can't say no when I'm this free Don't want to go home or I can't sleep Weather's so nice, only got good vibes Yeah, we're here chillin', chillin' in paradise Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on bread Okay, so I am back in the room and you guys, I might have lost my marbles a little bit. I went shopping, your girl went shopping. So basically I went to Lottie Mart and then I came back, dropped all that stuff off and then I went out again and I went to Olive Young first and I got a lot of what I was looking for but there was one thing, um, it was this product right here that I really, really wanted but they didn't have it. So that one sucks but everything else, I pretty much got most of it. And then after that, I needed to burn some time because Kyoshin, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing this, the chicken place did not open until 12. So I had about 30 minutes to burn. So I started like just like walking and I was gonna go to Daiso, but on the way to Daiso, I got distracted by a 7-Eleven. So then I went into the 7-Eleven and I got a couple things. And then after that, I walked over to the chicken spot and I got the goods. So that's in this bag right, <laughs> right here. So we'll get into that in a minute, but I'm gonna show you guys um, everything I got. So I ended up picking up another egg salad sandwich at 7-Eleven and I'm gonna have this on the plane. And then also there's quite a few things that are like buy one, get one free. So I got two of these because it was two for the price of one and it's a zero calorie peach tea, I believe. And then I have no idea what what flavor this is, nothing, but um, Cheetos are usually gluten-free. And that was everything I got at 7-Eleven, which I'm so thirsty, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this, this baby open. I feel like I'm so dehydrated. I definitely did not drink anywhere close to enough water on the plane. Mm, that's good. It is a peach tea, but it kind of kind of gives me more like peach juice. It has it has definitely a, a very strong peach flavor. It's very good. Okay, so now it's time to get into all the skincare, and I believe I spent about 250 USD. I think I spent quite a bit of money, but I also bought stuff for other people as well as myself. So just kind of keep that in mind. I did not drop 250 just just for me, but. The first thing I got was this right here and I had testers of everything. So I was kind of just testing some of the formulas with like a little small thing on the back of my hand. And I love the formula to this. So it's like a moisturizer. And then I also got this. Now this is rated as one of their like top things for 2022 and 2023. And it's supposed to be kind of like um, a serum, but it's supposed to help with rosacea and just like skin texture and all that stuff. So this is another one of the moisturizers. It's just a different kind. Um, and I got that for Chip. So Tiffany's gonna take one of each of these that I got her and then Chip is gonna get this one. And then I also picked up this. So this is not skincare. I do have more skincare in here. But when I was watching the skincare videos, they said this stuff is so good. And what's actually funny 
funny is it's from Germany. So I'm, I'm wondering when I show Chip if he's gonna recognize this. But this again was part of their 2023 Olive Award winning products. And it's supposed to be like an immune support. So it's like a dropper and you like drop it and take it, I guess. And then I also picked this up. So this one is a sunscreen. Now, compared to my Tula sunscreen, because I love this stuff, it has like a beautiful glow in it, and that's one of the things I love it. It's so lightweight, it wears well under my makeup. Well, they said this one is also really good. And when I when I did the little tester, I noticed it has a very similar shine to this. The only thing I will say about this one is that it has more of that traditional sunscreen smell. Not so strong, it's not like the sports, like the spray one. Whereas like this does not have any sunscreen smell like really at all. But this one is also SPF 50. And it also says that this one is luxurious texture whitening, which Lord only knows my skin does not need. I just be blending into stuff. Look at, look at this wall and look at my skin. Like honestly, look at this bed sheet and look at my skin. I don't know how much whitening I need. Now this one was not in the video that I saw, but I saw this and I was like, I, I have to try it. I have to try it. So it says it's an intense wrinkle improvement. So it's one of those like stick bomb things. Now I also had called Chip and I was like, Hey, listen, I kind of want to get the girls at the tattoo shop. So they have a piercer and then three girls that tattoo there and then the shop owner's wife who also like she sometimes works there on occasion and stuff. I wanted to get all of them some stuff while I was there. So I have one of these at home and I'm obsessed. All the flight attendants know these, they love them. You see everybody get them all the time. And it's kind of like a, like a collagen stick, like a wrinkle bomb and you just put it everywhere. You just lather it up and it's so silky and smooth and I absolutely adore it. So I wanted to grab them. And then also I ended up getting them some skincare masks from the same brand and there was exactly five so I was like oh it's an omen I'm gonna give Tiffany the other one of these as well so that's everything that I had ended up picking up so as you can see like some was for me but also a lot for other people as well so I think that's kind of where the total <laughs> price where the price kind of kind of got away from me but I don't know I think it's always nice to just give gifts I feel like whatever you give out to the universe is what you get back. So always have a generous heart. But anyways, now let me show you everything I got from Lottie Mart. I picked up these corn pancakes and this is where um, when I was scrapping these that um, the woman was like, oh, it's two for the price of one. So she handed me another pack of these, but I later went back and switched it because I noticed they also had the honey pack. So that way we can try each of them. And then also in that same section, I saw these and I have had these before, not, not necessarily this brand, but usually they're filled with like a bean paste inside and they are so good. These I just grabbed as a snack because it was very obvious that it was gluten free. They did have a very, very, very small gluten-free section. And by small, I mean the section was probably yay big. And it was mostly just like rice cakes. In the fridge, there's gonna be tons of juices in here. Like all this stuff was already in the fridge. I did not get any of this, but it has like a sheet of the price on each of these. So I don't think it's complimentary. I'm pretty sure you have to pay for them. But I did get this. So I grabbed two Greek yogurts and then this one's peach apricot grape. And then I picked up four of these coffees that I had this morning that were so good. And now it is time for some lunch. Oh, she's gonna be heavy. So I'm definitely not planning on eating all of this in one sitting. I don't think there's any way. So I'm gonna take the extras with me on the plane. But you guys, this is one of my absolute favorite things, pickled radish. I love pickled radish so much. I also really like kimchi, but pickled radish is like the thing that I'm just like obsessed with. It is so good. And then there's a Pepsi. I don't know if this is diet or regular. This is definitely a flight attendant favorite here. Everybody talks about this chicken spot. So I did the mix. So this one is called Red, which is kind of like a Korean spicy chicken. And then this one I believe is honey. I think it's called honey. So this one's red and this one's honey. Now, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't think there's any chopsticks. I don't know, maybe in my, maybe in my cooler bag I might have some. Oh no, I usually carry around chopsticks and silverware, but I don't seem to have 
either one in here today. But something that I thought was like super interesting because fried chicken in Korea is such a staple. It's, it's definitely one of those things that you think about because the fried chicken over here is just phenomenal. It is so good. But I learned from Alton Brown on the Food Network channel that they were actually introduced to fried chicken from the African-American soldiers during the Korean War. So I thought that was just so interesting. It's definitely something that while you're over here, you should check out and try. Oh, it smells so good. It has like that pickling liquid, like that same kind of like kimchi smell. Oh, I just love it. I love spicy food. Like give me all the spice. I absolutely find it just oh so good. But something to note is that when Koreans say it's spicy, it's usually very, very spicy. So if you are not a fan of spice, do not order anything here spicy because it's not like in America where some people say spicy and then you're like, is the spice in the room with us? It's not like that at all. Your the spice will be in the room with you, but this is really good. All right, you guys. So it's finally time. Pretty much everything is packed up except for y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack you guys up and we're gonna head over to the Incheon airport. Sunny day, sunny day. No clouds in the